Hi and welcome to another step-by-step -step tutorial on how to tie sea trout flies. Um, today we're gonna tie uh, a little small shrimp or scud fly uh, called uh, Hululoppa. Um, it's quite simple to do and um, and I'm using these uh, UV um, resin eyes that I make. It's so easy and nice and quick to make those eyes yourself. So, um, and this fly um, have uh, caught me a lot of sea trout. I haven't have had this pattern for so many years, but um, it really delivers uh, nice sea trout. So we're gonna go step by step how we how I tie it. Okay, I'm just gonna finish off this nice shrimp eyes like that. So for this fly, you need uh, I use um, a Tiemco hook hook. Um, this one, it's uh, a, a 2457 size six. It's a very nice hook. This hook. And you need a calf tail, uh, some fibers from a white calf tail, okay. And you need some ice stub holographic gold. Um, actually, there are two types of this uh, dubbing. If you can see, this is uh, what you get these days. It's uh, it's not the same as the old stuff. That's why I call the. Uh, have do two different names of this on this fly. I got one that's called uh, uh, old school, and I got one just called Hululoppa. And uh, I, 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 the first time I made this fly, I used this stuff, this old school stuff. That's why I call the old school stuff. And you can get this on my web shop if you don't have it. Okay, so you can see the difference. Uh, this is the new stuff. So. I got a lot of these packs. If you if you if you want to buy this, you can buy this at my web shop, and I, I deliver everywhere, so that doesn't matter. So yeah, you need that, and you need some um, some um, flu uh, dubbing orange. I call this hulu dub, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, lights up very good <laughs> as a trigger point. So. Um, this I call Hulodub. You can also get this from my web shop. Um, yeah, and um, and I use uh, some white uh, tying thread and uh, and uh, and some lead wire. Lead wire. Yeah. Okay, let's start. So here's the fly. It's a quite small one, and and uh, it's a it's a little technique to to kind of uh, make this body. Uh, so the fibers don't get too long and everything so we'll go step by step here okay so we'll start with the put in the hook nice and hard there you go and start with the tine thread that and I tie myself down to yeah, almost by the barb there. I can zoom in a little bit for you guys. Like that. And move the camera a little bit like that. So we're gonna start with the with the mouth part. So here is the calf tail, a white one. And um, I'm gonna uh, cut out a little part here you can see I've used a lot of it. <laughs> this fly fishes very well, so just cut out small section. And as you can see, this is too much. So what I do, I'll hold here and I pull out the tips. And this is almost for two more flies. So I'll just put it at the side there. And I'll still holding on to this one. And I'm kind of looking to see. Uh, it's a little bit too much. I'm 
pull out some fibers. Ah, a few more. Don't overdo it, okay? That's nice. So let's tie it in. Okay, uh, and the length of the mouth uh, part is uh, is um, about the same length as the whole the whole hook. Okay, like that. And and I'm gonna tie this in just by the barb. And I'm gonna tie the thread pretty long, pretty long down here. Okay, so like that. Take a couple of wraps and slide your fingers back and just wind the thread down. And before you go all the way down, I like to see what I'm doing. I'm kind of controlling the length of the mouth part. This time it looks yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna follow down and I'm gonna tie all the way down. You can see the thread is it's almost like oh almost like if you would tie in some copper wire uh, for uh, Krampa and you know other uh, Krampa and, uh, and, uh, and Klimpen yeah so stop there and now I'm taking a few, few wraps up a couple of millimeters before I make this uh, turn under the mouth part and I go there not not there but there and under again and one turn there and under again I'm supporting this this mouth part with the many wraps to make it stand out like that it will help the fly and to kind of wiggle about in the water so it's not it's important that you take a couple of wraps up here before you go down there because if you Take a wrap there and go under there. It will kind of pull it down again. Okay, so up there, take a few wraps under there to make it stand up like that, and take a few wraps there, and then you can go down. Just make a little support turn there and go up again. Okay. Yup. Now we can see it's kind of fans out like that, making this fly. Kind of wiggle around, uh, around in the water. Yeah. Okay, let's snip off this one, and we're gonna make our trigger point. And my trigger point is from the barb there, and down to the tying point there, and up again. And I'm gonna use some seal fur. And many of you are having trouble dubbing the seal fur, but the I think the trick is to dub on a little bit at a time don't overdo it because uh, if you have too much on it kind of you never get it tight so yeah and uh, and uh, I, and you can use your finger to help the fibers and um, kind of go around the hook I can show you I have my finger here ready and I take a wrap and I kind of helps help it around and I go down every turn I, I take my finger and do like that take it down tighten up the dubbing I want some more I rather dub on two or three times than have too much on so dub on some more and make a nice trigger point I'm gonna brush up this and I can help help this with my finger. Let's see now. Ah, I want some more, a little bit more. This this point, this glows in the sun when it's uh, the weather is clear, nice and clear. You can see, uh, yeah, it's just amazing. So use your finger like that, and there we go. There's the trigger point. Now you're just by the barb, okay? So I'm gonna tie in. Uh, the eyes. I made these nice, nice. Oh, sorry, these nice eyes with the UV resin. So, a couple of turns. I will pull them back about 
yeah about there and uh, here it's also quite important that you don't uh, take these tips and push them in the hook eye start there because in front here you're gonna make uh, you're gonna have some lead so I'm also going to use some super glue here to kind of make sure they don't slide out when I'm fishing with it. So I'm going to make them go like that by pushing them down with my thumb. Okay, you can see, just helping them with my thumb. I'm going to tie all the way down to the barb there. The thread is aligned with the barb of the hook, you see. And I'm quite happy with the, with the eyes. A couple of wraps and go back up again. Nice and tight. And cut off the stump there. Now you see you have enough space to, to let the fly. And here I'm going to secure this with the actually with some super glue it makes for a better fly a tiny drop that's enough okay and I'm gonna secure this with a couple of wraps just you know to, so the glue soaks in nice and then some lead wire now you ha you can you can put on as much as you like. I'm kind of making this fly um, a little bit heavy because where I like to fish this fly is uh, pretty deep. So so now I want pretty good weighted fly. So you have to think about your fishing spot and uh, where you want to fish it and, you know, make it as heavy as you want and, yeah. Okay, take a couple of wraps around the lead. Securing it. And this is, um, if you fill up with the tying thread, it's much easier to dub it afterwards because then you don't have all this small grips and everything yeah and like that and then make a, a dubbing loop about 10 centimeters secure it and go all the way in the front now you see I have this uh, my dubbing twister ready and then now we're gonna kind of pull out the fibers from the eye stub I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, let's see. Now, sometimes um, if you take out too much, the the fly will get too thick, you know. So I'm I'm trying to pull out exactly how much I want to use in the fly. So what I'm doing, I'm doing like that, pulling the fibers out, and just by um, taking this and putting it in the back and pulling a new line of fibers out and by doing that all the fibers will be aligned with each other and now it's the trick to you know don't take too much and you have to kind of ah, it looks good so now you see all the fibers are lined this way and if I had put this this way in the dubbing loop the fibers will be very long on the fly and I don't want that. Believe it or not I want to put it in that way. I'll show you down here, okay? Okay, so if you see the, the fibers are aligned this way, okay? But I don't want to put them in that way. I want to put them in that way. And I want to make it a little bit more translucent like that about four centimeters and I'm gonna put them in that way not this way not this way but this way that means 45 degrees and here also I'm pulling it out a little bit 
So I got about, I think it's about five centimeters. Yeah, five centimeters, okay? It's a little bit tricky, but twist it. And now I'm twisting the dubbing twister that way to the left, yeah. Because if you, if you do that, for every turn you take, it will kind of tighten up as you go. So just spin it and you can see the fibers are not so long and I don't want I don't want that I kind of and I'm helping it with my fingers and I'm holding down here you see when I'm finished uh, spinning spinning it I'll take my two fingers like that and I, I'll, I'll, I'll push down here and I'm holding the dubbing twister in my hand so when I'm it won't spin up again okay so twist it a little bit around hold it down here I can show you see I hold it down there with my fingers and I got the dubbing twister in my hand okay so take one there and now if I have done this correctly this is exactly now how much I need to finish the fly so touching turns almost touching turns you can always go back okay but if you have too much super glue on, you don't get to go back. <laughs> it will go down. So I have to see. Okay, this looks good. I think I have done quite good on this fly. So ah, it's a little bit too much, you see. Now I got a little bit too much. So that's kind of the trick. Ah, I just pull out some fibers and it's Ah, it's okay. I have made some hundreds of these now, so I'm um, kind of yeah. And take a couple of wraps and pull it back, and um, and then secure it nice and good like that. And and I go straight in and make a a whip finish. I always use whip finish. And here also you can also make a, you know a trigger point in the front by making a red head or I'll just make a white one. Like that. So and so. Yeah, and there we go. There's the hululopa, and I'm gonna brush this just a little bit. Okay, I want to have some fibers on the top, and I'm just brushing the top and a little bit on the side like that and I like to take my brush and brush a little bit of the orange part the whole holo holographic uh, no the, the the UV fluo silver I want to pull out some fibers okay just like that and that's it that's it no more and you can see you have a nice it's quite thick this fly but but it's it's um, not too thick so if you make it too thick the gap here will be too small and you have you will have problem hooking the fish so yeah and some varnish and we're ready this is this this fly is just yeah <laughs> you have to try it you have to try it okay There we go. Now you can see there's the hululoppa, and this is kind of it's the first um, first time I tied this fly. I tied it with this dubbing, this old stuff. I call it old stuff. So you can buy uh, you can buy this uh, dubbing on my website, and uh, and uh, and uh, the fluo dubbing. I got some 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 more packs for sale uh, um, on my website. So yeah, that's the hululoppa. Good luck, see you in the next film.